tonight on The Driving Test. Tears. Stress is starting to really affect them. And tantrums. And why, why do you walk on the road? Seriously. I believe Felicia's going to have some serious road rage. Oh, my God. Breathe, breathe. As our learners crave to hit the open road. This guy is not going to stop. You meet all types in Darwin. Hi, Rose, how are we? Good. <laughs> and driving instructor Andrew... He says slowly, huh? <laughs> ..has met them all. <laughs> it's always a hit and miss. Yeah, but a cuss. I had to shoot once. I heard this clicking noise constantly in my car, and I thought, oh, something's wrong with my car. And I looked down and noticed that his foot on the clutch pedal was just shaking so much that he was very nervous. So I tried my best to calm him down. Like so many others, 33-year-old Felicity moved to Darwin to start a new life. Nervous behind the wheel, she's lived with a deep, dark secret for 12 years. Being 33 and having my learner licence since 21, kind of letting everyone know that, that's kind of embarrassing. Hello, Felicity. How are we? Hey, Andrew. Thank you. How are you? Felicity's found learning to drive a real challenge. Never really met a driving instructor that I am comfortable with. Which way should I be turning the steering wheel? Um, break, um, break. Being uncomfortable behind the wheel could be the problem. I had one driver try to teach me automatic with two feet, and another driver told me that I ask too many questions. So Felicity has high hopes with Andrew. Well, hopefully third time lucky then, eh? Well, yes. I hear you think you rate yourself as the best. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I am the best, yeah. I really nervous. <laughs> Breathe. I don't know why. You'll be fine. To figure out what he's dealing with, Andrew puts Felicity to the test. All right, reverse parallel parking. OK. You're nervous now, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, deep breaths. I'm stopping breathing now, okay. too. Which way do you want the back to go? Which way do you want the back to go? <laughs> Just pause, think it through. I feel like that's so wrong. Felicity and reverse parallel parking. Ooh. <laughs> Technically, you've still got three more moves. Oh, so my God. <laughs> We're not going to do this. She can't reverse parallel park. Come on. You know. I just feel like that whole parking it's really deflated my confidence. Just touched it. Oh, so that means that's it? I don't feel like I did well at all. Oh, my God, help me. Is that enough now? Yep. Good. But as she takes off, things get even scarier. Right. The street coming up, turning right. <sighs> I'm just gonna go. I'll um, stop you because... Oh, I thought I had time. Oh, man. Now you can go. Felicity had a bit of a problem with the giveaway. Her body language told me that she was going to try to go for it. So I had to put my foot on the brake. Sorry, Mr. Posty. Felicity needs to work on her nerves and her reverse parallel parking. If she gets those two in check, then I think I believe she'll be ready for a driving test. Oh, my God, now I feel terrible. I know. <laughs> I'm steal all these 30-year-old bottle shop worker Joel hasn't driven in six years. I lost my licence through DUI on a low-range DUI, and it's about time that I just get it sorted, stop being stubborn. Morning, Mr Joel. How are you? I'm oh, oh, good, mate. How I, are I you? I complain, but no-one listens. <laughs> Joel thinks he's still got the touch, so he's decided to pass on a final lesson and jump straight into the hot seat. Your number is 16865. Yep. So, when you're ready and it's safe, I'd like you to pull away up to the end of the road, turn right for me. OK, OK. But right off the bat... Oops, stole it. With the test underway, Joel may be regretting his decision not to practise. So how long have you been without your licence? Uh, six years. Got done DUI and uh, decided that I didn't need a licence. I was a chef when I got done DUI. Oh. That makes sense, you know? Yeah. There are three kinds of chefs in the world. <laughs> I happen to be the drinker. <laughs> <laughs> Mark and Joel are really hitting it off. Joel, real nice young man. 
realises that he made a mistake when he was young and stupid. We turn left at the end. He's got his life back together. He's actually starting to realise that the driving licence is an important part of his life. It's kind of a requirement for work if I want to progress any further. I can see myself getting a possible promotion even if I was able to get the licences required to be a bit more help and not just be based at the shop itself. So when you're ready and it's safe, I'd like you to turn the car around for me. Another stall means Joel's losing points fast. I just reverted back to not concentrating as much on passing the test as I would just be being a leisure drive around. 23 minutes left and Joel can't afford any more mistakes, but he's getting lost in conversation. Do you hear about our cold snap up here, the 18 degrees and everyone was shivering and cold? Yeah, I, um... Man, I was, I was a big sook through that. I was dying. Joel, even though he's been driving for a while, he needs to understand that not concentrating on his speed while you're talking is a bad thing. Because I love living out bush. Shutting up a storm, Joel isn't watching the speedo and he's moving swiftly into the danger zone. <laughs> 18 year old John helps his single mum on her farm. Often mistaken for Twilight's Taylor Lautner, he needs his license to cash in on those movie star looks. It would help me get a job outside of the farm. How are you? All right. I'm Melissa. I'm John. Hey, John. Today, examiner Melissa is taking him through the test route. So, are you ready to do your driving test? Uh, yes, I am. Yeah, not too nervous? Uh, yeah, I got a bit of the jitters, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Try and relax as much as you can. Yeah. Okay. He did seem very nervous at the beginning. And this is test shoot number 15584. So, do you have any questions at all? Um, not particularly, no. Huh? Going the test, I'm feeling a bit nervous, you know, a little bit on the edge. Yeah, I'm going to get the jitters out, that's all. <laughs> John has his future riding on the next 45 minutes. Are we going right? Yeah, at the end, we'll go right. My throat's been dry, like, nearly all morning. I don't know why, it just picked up. A few minutes into his test, and Melissa's throwing John in the deep end. So just up a little bit further, we're going to actually use the next vehicle coming up to do the reverse parallel parking. Yeah. This is where you can normally see that students are getting a little bit nervous. Yeah. So whenever it's safe and you're ready. Yeah. They all get nervous about the reverse parallel park. Uh, it's just I'm gonna, uh, trying to get trying to uh, wet up my mouth and get this dry. That's okay. Yeah. Okay. This heartthrob really needs to hold it together. So when you're ready, we'll pull back out and we'll continue through to the end. Yeah. Uh, when I finished the parallel park, I wanted to continue with the test before I did something stupid. When you're ready. Yep. Just like in a movie, John may have spoken too soon. When we went to leave, there was just one thing he didn't notice. The handbrake. The stall rattles John even more, so Melissa tries to calm the situation. So are you working at the moment? Uh, I'm just on my mum's farm for now. What do you do then? Uh, I'm just a labourer, I guess. Like, I want to just, you know, pick the fruits and vegetables, I guess. Yeah, what sort of fruit? Uh, you know, Pawpaw, chilli, jackfruit, um, eggplant. But once John got chatting, he was on a roll. Jonathan, he loved to have a chat. I was worried that with all the chit chatting, he might make little mistakes. Like the underground the ones when you have like ginger and all that. So I looked down and see the speedometer just about to go over the 40 kilometer zone. And I was just like, oh god. <laughs> and I wasn't paying attention for a second, but luckily the um, still on 40. There was a point where I was going, you know, you need to concentrate a little bit more. I got a tattoo in Thailand. Probably not the brightest idea for a 14-year-old, but Thailand's Thailand. The clock's ticking and John needs to focus. Melissa's struggling to get a word in edgeways. I think he sold exotic animals while doing tattoos. 
Because he had a husky chained up, right? Yeah, we'll go ride it. And it wasn't a friendly husky. No, it was not. And there's nothing friendly about oncoming traffic. That's when I noticed the truck was coming, approaching the roundabout way too fast. I thought, he hasn't seen us. This guy is not going to stop. Bottle shop employee Joel is taking his driving test again after being banned six years ago for drink driving. We're going to follow this road all the way into the, the city. His confidence has been soaring and so has his speed. We'll pull over on the left hand side up there. Now that his test is coming to an end, has his licence and promotion all gone up in smoke? Make the car safe, Mr Joel, and I've got some mathematics to do. All right, how did we do? Um, my biggest issue is your speed management. Because you're so comfortable in, in the car, you, you know, you're not a 16-year-old kid, you've had a licence before, uh, you know how to drive. Your speed management sometimes we were creeping way up, like just above it, yeah, and then bringing it back down again and going back up. So on the strength of that, nothing over here, um, and because of your score over here gave you that sort of mark. Unfortunately, I've got to inflict you on the rest of Australia. Congratulations! <laughs> I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> I passed, which is uh, good. I don't have to do it again. It's a bit nervous. And uh, when you think you know how to drive, you get told that you've got some bad habits. So speeding was definitely uh, a factor. I've got to keep an eye on that. Can you sign there to say that I've told you the result? Confidence was a bit of a factor of my lazy habits, so I've got to work on those. You make a mistake when you're younger, and it can live with you or stay with you for the rest of your life. Joel paid the consequence. And what did Joel learn from all this? Don't drink and drive, pretty much. It's easier if you just don't do it. After six more lessons with Andrew, Felicity has finally plucked up the courage to sit for her licence. But she's decided to have one more lesson before her test. Good morning, Felicity. How are we? Good morning. Nervous? Breathe. It's just a lesson still. Mm -hmm. Felicity knows how to drive. My main concern is her nerves. You breathing? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Sure. She needs to control her nerves. Felicity's first attempt at a reverse parallel park ended with a bang. <laughs> about to do the reverse parallel park, and I'm just thinking, stay focused, get it right. Too far out. Remember, you've got four moves to do it in. Before you do do that, mm -hmm. yeah, just take a deep breath for me. All right. I don't have oxygen masks in this car because you stop breathing. Okay. Come on, you can do this. I'm getting nervous. Hopefully, she controls it, keeps breathing, and executes the turn just fine. Is it all right? <clears throat> Borderline, but yeah. you're still in your limit. OK. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. Andrew's lessons have paid off. But Felicity is winding herself up into a panic. Why, why, why do you walk on the road? Seriously. I believe Felicity's going to have some serious road rage. She doesn't like people crossing the road in front of her. It's not even in front of her. It's like 100 metres in front of her, but it's on. Go and find a traffic light. It's just scary. Like, you don't know what they're going to do. It's enough that you've got to, like, worry about cars. Do it. We have traffic lights or that sort of stuff. Seriously, cross somewhere else. Felicity needs to be patient, and there's other people on the road besides her. With Felicity's test just minutes away, for your curbside stops. her nerves are reaching fever pitch. OK, moving off when you're ready. I've got Felicity to do a curbside stop moving off. The handbrake's still on. I knew exactly what was going to happen. It's going to start beeping at her. What's it doing that for? What's going on? Figure it out. Panic mode kicks in. Should I pull over somewhere? Why do you think it's beeping? Oh, my God. 
Breathe, breathe, breathe. If on her test we have to answer that, it's all over. Was it? Was it? Because the handbrake's on. There you go. Good. Oh. <laughs> After this lesson, I feel really unsure about the test. <laughs> it sort of wavered my confidence a little bit just with the silly mistakes I made, and um, I'm hoping that doesn't carry through. Minutes away from completing his driving test, John's heading straight toward a truckload of trouble. This truck is not going to pull up. You could hear him just flattening out the brakes, so I was just like... And luckily, he stopped. Yeah, he just freaked me out. I did not think he was going to stop. It was a sign of relief, I think, for both of us. With the test over, pass or fail, it's time for Melissa to put John out of his misery. OK, so I need to tell you this up. It'll take me a few minutes. Yeah, okay, no so, worries. So that you can breathe and <laughs> relax. OK. Um, so with you, Joe, you're a little bit jumpy here and there, and there was a stall on your reverse parallel park. Oh. And there was also that truck that came up and he... Yeah, he yeah. was going pretty... Like, he, well, he's a heavy vehicle, he's not going to be able to stop that easily. Luckily, yeah. he did. But that one, I would have sort of backed off a little bit just yeah. in case he didn't pull up. Yeah, OK. Would you like to know how you went? Uh, yeah, I got no choice. Um, yeah. yeah. 18-year-old John is on the edge of his seat. Has he passed or failed? Would you like to know how you went? Uh, yeah, I got no choice. Um, you... Yeah, yeah. You passed. Ah. You did it. <laughs> yeah. So, yes. Yes. Thank well you. Well done. Ah. So Jonathan did very well today. He did seem very nervous at the beginning, but he pulled it all together. Um, he got 95%, which was really good. Congratulations. Well done. Thank you. And be safe. Yes. Yeah. I'll see you on the road. Yeah. <laughs> Getting my licence is going to be able to help me a lot. Like, beforehand, I didn't have a, any way to get to a job other than walk outside because the farm's there. So, yeah, now I can actually go somewhere, get a job, yeah. And I'm pretty keen. <laughs> it's the moment of truth for Felicity as she embarks on her test with examiner Mark. I'm nervous about the test with Mark. Uh, Miss Felicity, how are we this morning? Good, thank you. Mark, is it? Yeah, it is, yeah. Lovely to meet you. Between 1 and 10, my nerves are about a 6 or a 7. This is your driving test. Your number today is 18361. Mm -hmm. It must be yours. It's got your name written all over it. All right, happy? Um... OK. All right. I think I'll be fine. All you've got to do is remember to do exactly what you've been taught to do. Yeah. And breathe. Mm hmm Breathe, everything's fine. I haven't had anyone that nervous in my car for a long, long time. It's a little drive around. That's all it is. It's a little drive around. Felicity has 45 minutes to keep her nerves at bay. Only thing that was going to cost her today was nerves because nerves like that, she could freak out. And if she freaks out behind the wheel of a piece of machinery, it could go horribly, horribly wrong. Six minutes into her test, and Felicity is about to face her greatest fear, a random pedestrian with dogs. Who's no, taking who for I'm a walk then? I'm going to slow down a bit because I'm a bit concerned those dogs are going to run out. Oh. She doesn't have a lot of control over them, does she? And take the next turning on the left. If her nerves were at a six or seven when she started, they're now through the roof. And she has to get this park right. Okay. You do have four movements to go from here to there. When she starts to reverse, I'm sitting there thinking, uh, this is now going to get tighter and tighter. The angle she was at was slightly out. I went up onto the driveway a little and I felt like it was the same as mounting the gutter. Hitting the kerb means points lost, so the pressure is on. When I started feeling like I was doing it wrong, that's when the anxiety kicked in really bad. All right, then, when you're ready, we'll move off again, please. At that 
point I was like, oh, well, I failed. Continue on to the end of the road. I just have to keep going, but I got really emotional. With less than 10 minutes on the clock, Felicity is crushed. Pull over and park the car next to the kerb on the left, please. I was almost in tears. Okay, make the car safe, and when you're ready, we'll move off again, please. At the curbside stop, I lost it. She's gone a little bit paler at that point, and the breathing has become a little bit shallower. It was a bit tough. It took me a while to get it together so I could keep going. I can see her face. The stress is starting to really affect her now. Take a second. Take a couple of deep breaths. It was so overwhelming. As her test comes to an end, Felicity is fearing the worst. OK, you can sit there and chill out for a minute, look out onto the sea, while I've got some mathematics to do. Internally, I was saying little prayers. All right, let me pass. Please let me pass. Just it's all, like, something I've been wanting to do since I was a kid, you know? Miss Felicity, how did we do? Having been on her L's for the past 12 years, it's the moment of truth for 33-year-old Felicity. I don't want to do my test over again at all. I just want to pass. Let's start with your manoeuvre, shall we? OK. Um, curbside stop, no dramas at all. Reverse parallel parking, your angle was slightly wrong. Yeah. And we ended up very tight on the car in front. But you dealt with it. That one there was in when we were in Parap. You decided that you were going to go really, really slow. Okay. And that's nearly as bad as going too fast. Okay. okay. What we've got to work out is there was nothing over here. Is your score good enough? So, so unfortunately. I've got to inflict you on the rest of Australia. Congratulations. <laughs> I was crying before, that's why I was stressed out. When he said I passed, <laughs> it's just like all overwhelming. It's like everything that I was worried about, it's like just. <laughs> Hopefully, their tears are happy, there's not. Um, have a tissue? I don't know. I, I do have a towel though, yeah. And it is clean. There you go. <laughs> Hopefully they're tears of happiness, not sadness. Because <laughs> now you can drive on your own, can't you? Feel better now? I do. I failed my reverse part. So no! That's what I was just about. No! So I just thought the whole time that I failed. So but I'm excited. I can't believe they said I could try it. <laughs> Cashing in on his movie star looks, John has ditched farm work, got a new tattoo, and is heading to the big smoke. Joel is no longer behind the counter and is shifting crates of beer in his boss's forklift. With a new licence in hand, Felicity is working on her fear of pedestrians. 